My name is Ariel Williams, but of course I was Ariel Owens um, when I was a student here at Berea. I graduated in May of 2014 and my focus was a bachelor's in business administration. Poetry sort of started for me when I was like around like a senior in high school and it was an opportunity for really for me to get my feelings out about the environment that I was in and how for an opportunity for me to express myself. And so by virtue of continuing to practice with a lot of my works, um, it's just something that stayed with me and I was fortunate enough to have many opportunities to share my poetry um, as a student here on campus um, and then transitioning into adult. Uh, living in Louisville, I also take the opportunity to go to like a lot of different open mics in the city, whether it be at like museums or galleries to share my work um, about a lot of different topics. A lot of it really just falls on the topics of like love, faith, and my just identity in general. And by virtue of, you know, Abby reaching out to me about um, what I had written about Bria being a beacon of light, it immediately triggered so many memories that I had here as a student and the words just kind of came to me and I was like, yeah, I'll just write this tidbit and share that. <laughs> Making people secure is important to me because just coming from the background that I came from, living in Hawaii, there's like this idea of the Aloha spirit wanting to make people feel welcome. But then I'd also like to couple that with the fact that I did come from a financially disadvantaged background. And so it wasn't common that I always had a bed to sleep on growing up. So I figured like when I was ready to transition into my career, it was really cool to think that I would potentially work at ho in the hotel industry and have the opportunity to work for a place that had beds where I could get discounts to sleep in said beds. If I had not come to Berea, I think I probably would have fell into those categories of students who, for one, graduate with mountains of debt and I would have had to figure out some type of game plan to not only pay that back, but I also wonder if my family would have been able to help me in any way to perhaps get to the institutions that I was trying to get to. And it would have put so much more hardship on my life, but instead I was able to graduate free of debt travel back to Hawaii to visit my family and immediately start my career and be able to save personally versus having to pay off debt. I currently uh, work for Sullivan University as a financial planner, um, assisting students with finding financial opportunities to finance their education. And having come from the background that I did with Berea, I felt, you know, how great would it be to be of service to other students because I know how much education impact, impacted my life. The fact that I even had my work study program here at the Boone Tavern and then transitioned to eventually getting married here was such a full circle moment for me because I remember being the one to help clean up after wedding events, you know, checking guests in as a student and then as I when I grew up I was thinking about all the different opportunities and places my husband and I could get married and I wanted a place that was going to be sentimental to me and prior to my husband and I getting married I had allowed him to come out here and visit Brea College with me and, and to really share my experiences I'm just grateful that not only have I had the opportunity to share this experience with my husband, but now I'm kind of like bringing my daughter into the fold and showing her a place that has meant so much to me, but also like for her to see how important education can be here for her future if that's a route that she decides to take. And I feel like Bria will always be a part of my family and it'll be something that we'll transition to every year, bringing her and who knows how far her lineage will continue to remember Bria.